guys. Hey, so the first thing you're going to hear is probably my husband type of top topping top because he's playing his video games. And then you're going to see me getting ready for my play date with Elizabeth. Um, she's been here a few times before. She's been in like two of my videos. We've done pictures together. We're having a really good time. So I'm super excited. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I'm going to do this. Uh, humidity, like in the house, is just. <laughs> So I'll probably, I'm trying to tame the beast over here. And then I'm put my makeup on and we're probably going to go to the mall and just walk around. Um, I'm going to take her to the gym with me. So I was going to go to the gym at like 6, but since she's coming, um, I'm going to go to the gym earlier. And so I can rock her face on all of the fun stuff that I'm doing. Uh, a couple of you asked me um, what's... What's been going on with the fertility treatment stuff? So right now I'm on Provera, which is a female hormone. Um, it's it's awful. Um, it is it is so bad. Uh, one little aside, real quick. I'm going to do my very best to kind of mind my p's and q's. Um, I recently found out that my nephew um, <laughs> is wanting to watch my videos and my brother you know he he explicitly um you know doesn't really want him watching you know a bunch of, of curse words and stuff like that so on some of the videos that i make um which you know i'll let him know that are safe for him to watch um they're both really young like my, my niece and nephew are both really young and um it's what you do for family like, you know, I don't feel like I'm censoring myself. If they want to watch some of some of my videos, then I don't really mind um, being a little less crude. Um, I probably should anyway. Uh, I do got quite the potty mouth, which is not really something I'm, I'm really that proud of, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. But it's not that, you know, it's not something to boast about either. So, yeah, for the, for some of my videos, you will notice that I, I try a lot harder to be a little bit more PC. Just because I know that um, that this is one that I'll send to him that he's allowed to view. Um, so that that's, that's pretty much that. So, yeah, I'm on Provera, uh, which means that I'm a raving lunatic. Uh... I didn't realize how badly this this was going to affect me. Um, my mood swings are just so fast. They're so fast, like it's it's night and day, night, like ten seconds later, night and day, night and day, all day long, like just just crazy. Um, I I really did like I expected to have some hormonal you know imbalance I expected me to be a little crankier this is beyond cranky <laughs> this is like 15 steps beyond girl you're a little you're a little cranky today no uh, I had a major 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 meltdown yesterday um, I threw things I broke my glasses so I I had to rebuy my polka dot glasses that's what you get that's what you get so um, needless to say I don't think that I will opt to try this medication again I just I'm not I'm so I just I can't I can't and I, I know it's for a good cause that's why I'm still on it um, I have four more days left now please Lord please make it go faster and please keep me sane um, for as, as long as possible um, the video I uploaded today, this video won't, I'm always in, it's in the future. Future. Um, so the, the video I uploaded yesterday, uh, is me hiking 2.6 miles, um, up various amounts of steps, uh, very steep steps, wet steps, uh, you know, built into the to the you know dirt um, going down them was one thing going back up them was absolutely miserable I, I got lots of beautiful footage my wonderful husband you will see was most of the commentary because number one I couldn't breathe um, the elevation was up and down I have asthma um, 
you know, so I was trying to, to reserve all of my energy to actually make it up the steps. I only took a probably minute and a half break uh, where I actually just stood there and tried to catch my breath and then I was off. You know, um, how to put it? Three years ago, if you would have told me that I, that was even remotely possible for me, that, that at, you know, almost 300 pounds, that was an, that was even a choice. Like there will be Nirvana, you know, three years from now, you'll be able to go walk up a mountain. You'll be able to climb a thousand steps. You'll be able to, to do whatever you want. I'd be like, no, but you're cute. No, you know, we, we do that to each other. We, we do that to ourselves. And, you know, like I mentioned in two videos ago, we are our own worst enemy. We, we started down this path and halfway down this path, not even halfway, about a quarter way down this path, my husband was like, do you want to stop and go back? Because, you know, it was, it was really steep and then it goes up and down a lot. And I hadn't really got to any stairs yet. So, you know, a quarter of the way in, you know, he's like, do you want to stop and go back? And, you know, the old me would have been like, yeah, yeah, let's just go back. I can't do this. Like, this is, this is obviously way too, too much for me. And we actually happened upon this place by accident. So we hadn't even planned to go there. We were just, we like to explore. We don't have a whole lot of money. Like we don't, we don't go around and like, you know, shop because that's just not something we can do. But what we like to do is we like to explore places. So a lot of the times if I tell you that we're going to San Francisco or we're going to Sacramento, or we're going to some place like that, it's literally to walk around, just explore. Um, you know, you won't see big gigantic, you know, clothing hauls and like, you know, I went to this place and bought all this stuff and I went to this. That's not, that's not this channel like that. I don't do that. The most you'll ever get from me is like, um, I have a torrid haul coming up, which is, was a Christmas and birthday present. So, you know, that, that is something, you know, I could do or a thrift store haul because that's guilty thrift store, you know? So that is something that, you know, I'm really excited about is that, you know, taking you with me, even though it was a 30 minute, um, vlog, that minute took me about an hour, about an hour to do 2.6 miles, but it's not a straight line. It's not like I just walked 2.6 miles because I can walk three miles. If it's just a straight line, I can walk three miles in like 23 minutes. I've timed it. So, you know, you, it's up and down, up and like the stairs were really, really hard for me. So I was super excited to get it done. Um, you know, there, <laughs> the, the camera quality because it was on his phone. Um, and the fact that, you know, I was completely out of breath and like, you know, it just, it's not as picture perfect as like, you know, some people, like I would want it to be, but it was the best that we could do. And I'm so proud of that video. I went to the beach, um, we donated some stuff, uh, you know, we, um, St. Anthony's is an amazing place in San Francisco. If you, if you live in the area, the Bay Area, and you have, you know, clothing, you have blankets, you get old coats, things like that, or, you know, food, you know, they have food bank, you know, th these people are really hurting. And, you know, we went up there and it was just, it was amazing. Like, so that's, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. I like to give back. Um, you know, I like to spend some of my time doing things for other people. It just makes me feel like a good person. And then even though I was exhausted from the day before doing the dance video where I was, you know, doing turbo kick and then, you know, went and did my arms and legs, I was still really sore and in tons of pain. I still went and did that, um, that challenge, I challenged myself. Uh, and like I said, my friend is coming over today and then I'm going to, Lord, come on. I'm going to go to the gym. Um, she may be with me. She may not be with me. I'm not real sure. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I know that, you know, she will, you know, she, it depends on if she brings her daughter. If she brings her daughter, then, um, she's not allowed in the gym. She's too young. So that means that I'll have to go by myself later on um, that, that evening whatever time I get back, but I know we'll be going to the mall. I'll bring my iPad with me. So in another video, which won't be this one because I'm already rambling on forever, um, that, that will be what you, what you'll see. And then today I'm just, I'm actually wearing some really simple things. I actually got these and I haven't really worn them much. They're, look how cute these little earrings are. So 
they're not highest quality, which is probably why I paid $4 for like 10 of them. <laughs> so, um, like I said, they're, they're not the highest quality, but I thought they were really, really cute. And since I have really tiny ears, wait, hold on guys. I have super, super tiny ears and wearing dangly earrings to me gives me the the feeling like I have more length and it doesn't make me look so strange and awkward see I think that's cute so that's I don't know what that is it's probably I think it's blood um, from messing around scratching myself or something so yeah I think these are really cute I've got black and red and orange and purple and, and stuff like that like um, those they're like that's what I'll end up wearing today are these uh, let's see so um, I got some really awesome um, you know people talking to me lately and I'm just really thankful oh, uh, I will be doing the take an oath challenge. Um, I actually got rid of my scale, so I don't really know. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and do the oath here because I don't have a scale to use. I actually got rid of that because it was, it was driving me crazy. So I'm going to take the oath and go ahead. If you don't know what that is, um, the WLSFA.org. Um, they're doing a take the oath to stop fat shaming, which I think is amazing. So the oath is, I choose to fight fat shame and bias with education. I choose to treat all people with empathy, compassion, and respect. I choose to own the number on the scale without shame. I challenge three people to take this oath. So the three people I'm going to do is going to be um, finding Elizabeth, going to be um, Amy gets a VSG and it's going to be Virginia um, VSG Jenny so those are the three people I'd like to see uh, all you do I'll put the link down below is go to www.fl www.f ma'am come on Ramon www.fl wfsfa.org slash oath and take the oath to end fat shaming and obesity, obesity stigma. So that is mine. And then of course um, there's a little picture where you can put the picture on there and it has, you know, taking the oath and then so that is my oath um, to help uh, end fat shaming. I hope that helps people. I will put the link down below. I challenge anybody. Anybody who wants to make a video I think is an amazing, it's an amazing thing. I think everybody should do it. I love your faces. I've already rambled for 13 minutes. You will see more of my day in another video. You will see my gym video as well. Um, let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing if you like this. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye!